Welcome to Dev Mode, a space in Figma where developers can find what they need to implement designs more efficiently. Features like Design to Code, Section Statuses, and Plugins ensure designers and developers are always on the same page. With Dev Mode and Figma, the handoff process is better than ever. I'm a developer on World Peas, an online organic grocery store, and I'm in the process of building our web app. A designer on my team just sent over this Figma file, and I want to make sure our code base reflects the most recent design updates. I'm going to switch over to dev mode to see what we're working with. This section is marked ready for dev, so these frames must be ready for implementation. Let's take a look at the layers in this frame. I can see the names and types of layers in the inspect panel. This frame contains some text, shapes, and components. Hmm. This frame looks a little different from the last time I viewed it. I wonder what changed. Dev mode allows me to compare changes from previous versions to the current version by viewing the frame's history. Now, which version did I see last? I think it was this one. Ah. The background color of this layer changed. By viewing the frame's history, I can see how its styles have been edited. I'll make a note to update that in the code base. I need a bit more information about this component. The inspect panel in dev mode displays the styles and assets I need, and even includes a component playground where I can try out different component properties without changing the design. Dev mode also provides a box model and generates code for this component. Right now, the generated code is in Swift UI. I'm developing for web, so let me switch it over to CSS. I can see the new color style being used, and the background color is already updated in the generated code. I'll copy this for later. My team is using GitHub for version control on this project. There's a link attached to this component that takes us to its implementation in our code base. With the GitHub integration, I can see exactly which file the component is in, as well as the code associated with it, all without having to leave Figma. That just saved me the trouble of having to look through our repo to find the right component. While I'm here, I'll also go ahead and add a link to the related Asana task so I can track my work easily. I think I'm ready to open VS Code and start updating these frames. Which reminds me, I heard someone mention that Figma now has a VS Code extension. Let's check it out. With Figma for VS Code, I can see which designs are ready for development and get new comment notifications without breaking my flow. No more switching back and forth between the design file and my text editor. From here, I can also view additional dev resources linked to the component. There's the GitHub link we saw earlier. It opens the file in my editor. For components that don't have an existing implementation, the Figma for VS Code extension provides autocomplete suggestions based on our design. This workflow is pretty efficient. I can quickly find what I need from a Figma design file and avoid all the usual context switching during development. I should ask the team if they've had a chance to try out dev mode. First, let me share the updated designs with the rest of the devs since they're working on implementing other frames for the World Peas app. I can send them this link so they get dropped right into dev mode when they open the file. Thanks for exploring dev mode with me today. What other features would you want to see to improve your handoff process? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.